I'm laying on this table and I'm in terrible pain. And I had heard that this was very serious. And I'm saying, oh my goodness, is, uh, is this it? You know, they talk about uh, light and seeing the next world and all that. And I'm looking, is this it? And something said, no, it's not. And I'm saying, I heard, I heard, do something, help me. And the next thing I know, the pain seems to have gone away. And I guess when they're able to get in there and put the balloon in and uh, open the vessel and then put a stent in to kind of retain it in that position, all with devices that, uh, that you've been involved in and that I saw them being made today, it's pretty cool. It's, uh, it, is a, it puts a different perspective on what it is that we do, um, particularly you know, in the sales as, as a company representative. Um, up until that point, it was, let's, let's push product. Uh, yeah, we always have the patient in mind. That's, that's what we're doing. But for me, it was unique to get the call and, sorry, to, to know that uh, your best friend, uh, the man who would rush home from work to play catch with you, um, is in trouble. Uh, but what a, uh, what a neat experience to be able to go in and see um, there on the table your father. There's a physician who, uh, who you trust. There are your devices. Everything from our manifold kits to the, our, the blue diamond inflation device. They had the ASAP aspiration catheter out. The Impress, um, uh, we had our diagnostic catheters out. Uh, there was our, our sheaths. And it's like, wow, there's, merit, there's the merit table. And um, my role is to be a caddy to that physician, to be a consultant. It's not about pushing product anymore, but it's more about uh, that's somebody's father, somebody's mother, somebody's brother or sister. The privilege that we have um, to go in and to be an advisor, one, I needed to get better, that I needed to make sure that when I step into that lab, it's like stepping onto the football field. Um, I'm crossing that line. That, that I'm fully engaged with what is going on in the moment with that patient. Because at any moment, uh, the doctor could turn and say, hey, um, what's the max PSI? Uh, what's the internal diameter of your catheter? Uh, what is your catheter compatibility? Uh, we get asked a lot of questions about embolics and microcatheters and how do we, uh, what's the proper prepping for the Swift Ninja? If I'm on my phone, I'm not paying attention, I'm gonna affect the outcome. And then, I mean, I, I would, I, I hate to really draw the parallel, but you know, dads, you're here. Yeah, you know, John, um, one of the things I love about you and I've, I've noticed all our lives is your enthusiasm and you're just totally involved in what you're doing. And having just walked around this plant and met many people kind of informally and some a little more formally, there's a culture here at Merit because I'm an individual and every person is an individual, and we need individual and specific care. And so to get a feeling for, I mean, this place is, is like, you could, eat, you could eat food off the, the grounds. It's so clean, and uh, it, it feels like a family. So I think that now I better realize that there are people packaging things, making things that have been made for me as an individual, and through somebody like you, people know how to, how to use it. And then a afterwards, I can get a great post-mortem. And maybe that's the wrong word to use in this sense where I'm still alive. But at least, <laughs> at least the idea is we have uh, a much better understanding uh, of uh, what you can do for people and what's available. And I'm convinced from what I've heard that uh, Merit has a lot more things in the future that's going to come forth. And, I'm getting older. I'm going to fail all kinds of ways, and maybe Merit's going to keep me going for another couple of decades if I can get the right Merit devices at the right time. So, John, keep up the good work and keep close to me and teach me about what I need to know. We're going to feel that uh, Fred's got a 100-year plan for Merit. <laughs> We're going to make sure you fit into that 100-year plan as long as possible. <laughs>